Facts First presents Tori Roloff makes heartbreaking announcement, leaving us in tears. Before we get started, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Little People, Big World. Little People, Big World premiered on TLC in 2006, and it was an instant hit. It's a reality show about the Roloff family who lives on a farm near Portland, Oregon. And every member of the family has a condition called dwarfism. People were really interested in the lives of little people, which made the show such a huge hit. Zach and Tori. Zach is the son of Matt and Amy. He also has two brothers named Jeremy and Jacob and a sister named Molly. Zach met Victoria Elizabeth Patton, a.k.a. Tori, when he was hired as a farmhand on his family's farm. It didn't take long for Zach and Tori to realize they were interested in each other, and the relationship blossomed quickly. In July 2015, the couple got married. The wedding was filmed for the show, and it was one of the most watched episodes. Two years later, the couple was getting ready to welcome their first child into the world, a teacher. Tori didn't just help out on the Roloff family farm, she was also a school teacher. She became a teacher because she loved children, so it was no surprise that Tori wanted a family of her own. She worked as a kindergarten teacher, and even though she loved her job and her students, she had to say goodbye when she went on maternity leave. Before Tori left, she promised she would come back to class with her baby so that her students could meet her child. Before Tori could return to the class with her baby, she had a difficult journey ahead that she never expected. Tori's pregnancy didn't really work out according to plan. Their love story. Tori was a newcomer on the show when she accepted a part-time job working on the Roloff family farm. When she took the job, she had no idea it would change the rest of her life. Zach had a thing for Tori from the first moment they met. It took Zach four months to gain the courage to ask Tori out. When he asked her on a date, Tori agreed, and soon the couple became inseparable. Their romance bloomed on television, and they became one of the nation's most loved couples. The show helped them both. Zach and Tori both believed that being on the show helped them. Tori learned to ignore bigotry and even the negative things that people said about her relationship. Zach is thankful for the show because it helped him see he could open up and share his life with another person. Weddings. Tori and Zach were married in June 2015 on the farm. They said I do in front of 100 of their closest family and friends. Theirs wasn't the only roll-off wedding that year. Shortly before Zach and Tori's wedding, Zach's twin brother, Jeremy, married his girlfriend, Audrey, and their wedding was televised as well. Zach and Tori say their wedding day was the happiest of both of their lives. Divorce. Love wasn't in the air for everyone around this time. While the two oldest children were getting married on the show, their parents, Zach and Amy, were getting divorced. The couple had been married for 30 years when they decided to file for divorce. The divorce announcement shocked the couple's family, their friends, and those who tuned into the show regularly. Because the couple had a family together and they shared a business, they had no choice but to be friendly with one another. 2016. Although the entire family was still reeling over the news of Matt and Amy's divorce, Zach and Tori were excited to share the news of Tori's pregnancy in 2016. The couple weren't sure whether or not their child would be born with dwarfism, but they took it in stride. Zach said if their child was born with dwarfism, it would be okay with him. If it did happen, people would know he was the child's father wherever they go. The fact that Zach would be happy whether the baby had dwarfism or not, Tori was able to enjoy her pregnancy. An anniversary. The couple celebrated their seventh anniversary while Tori was pregnant. They wanted to show the world they were just as in love as they were when they first got together. They posted photos over the course of their relationship on social media as a tribute to one another and their relationship. May 12, 2017. On May 12, 2017, the Roloff family welcomed Jackson into their family. Jackson was born healthy, but the couple still weren't sure if he had inherited his father's dwarfism. Tori was going to love her son no matter what, but she knew that if he were born with dwarfism, her son would have difficulties in the future. Dwarfism can come with serious medical issues, but Jackson was born into a family that already understood what it's like to live with dwarfism. This would be really important if Jackson were a little person. Proud parents. Tori and Zach were so proud of their new son that their social media newsfeed was loaded with photos of the adorable little boy. Their fans were constantly asking for more pictures and updates on Jackson. With all of this positive feedback, the couple knew that their child would be accepted, whether he was little or not. Achondroplasia. Zach was born with achondroplasia, and he knew there was a 50 50 chance that Jackson would have it as well. After he was born, they had Jackson tested. When they got the results that Jackson did have achondroplasia like his father, the couple didn't get discouraged. Jackson had the support of his parents, his family, and the public. He was loved unconditionally. Zach said he planned to raise his son to be confident and have self-respect. Tori's trouble. Tori loved being a mother, but things weren't easy. It had nothing to do with her son's dwarfism, but it was a significant issue weighing on Tori's mind. 
She decided to use the road that was paved by Little People Big World to open up about her problem and also to raise awareness. Tori's issue was with breastfeeding. Breastfeeding debate. Breastfeeding is a hot-button topic for some. There are people who believe that women should be banned from breastfeeding in public places. There are also people who shame mothers who choose not to breastfeed or simply cannot breastfeed. Tori doesn't think it's right that people would try to take away the bonding experience that breastfeeding provides a mother and a child. People who don't believe that women should breastfeed in public are basically telling mothers to stay at home with their babies. No justice. Breastfeeding in public is legal in every state in the U.S. except Idaho. Just because it's legal doesn't mean that people don't harass breastfeeding mothers. Random strangers often go up to a mother who is breastfeeding. Some businesses kick women out who are breastfeeding, which is against the law. She used it to openly speak out and raise awareness for the injustices that mothers face every day. It's natural. On social media, Tori explained that when she would breastfeed in public, she always felt awkward because of the stigma attached to it. She says her desire to feed her child is much stronger than the fear that people would shame her. Tori decided to be the voice for all mothers who wanted respect for doing something that is completely natural. She happily became an advocate for breastfeeding mothers everywhere. Love and acceptance. Tori documented her experiences with breastfeeding on social media. Her posts were positive, and she talked about how breastfeeding in public was becoming more and more natural. She also posted fans of Jackson as he transitioned from a tiny newborn baby to an adorable toddler. Tori loved posting pictures of Jackson because of the love he received online. Public support. It wasn't just Jackson who was loved and accepted. Tori also got plenty of positive feedback and encouragement about breastfeeding in public. Women from all over the world thanked her for standing up against people who tried to shame her for feeding Jackson in public. She loved the positive feedback, and it just instilled her desire to be the voice for millions of women. Tori's social media platform allowed mothers to share their own stories and experiences. Her social media pages gave women a chance to offer advice and tell their stories. Audrey's social media. Tori wasn't the only family member who used social media as a platform. When her sister-in-law, Audrey, had a baby, she was struggling with juggling motherhood and business. Audrey has her own fashion line, and she and her husband, Jeremy, run a marriage counseling website called Beating 50%. Audrey opened up about her struggles as a career woman. She had plenty of followers who were going through the same thing. Amazing women. Tori and Audrey are two amazing women. They used their celebrity status to help women just like them. Tori Roloff makes heartbreaking announcement leaving us in tears when she opened up about the struggles with breastfeeding. Audrey opened up about her struggles with being a career mom. These are two incredible women. We hope you enjoyed this video. Leave us a comment and tell us what you thought. And be sure to subscribe to Facts First for more videos.